The cartoon. The cartoon. A docudramary cartoon entry. Roy, Wednesdays at 4.30 on the CBBC channel. Our journey to find the next great superhero is nearly at an end. We started with 13 wannabe heroes. All battling to prove they have what it takes to become the world's next great superhero. Now only three finalists remain. But only one will get to star in their very own comic book created by Stan Lee and claim comic book immortality. Today, the superheroes spring into action. We put the finalists on the spot. Why should you be the next great superhero? They come face to face with their arch nemesis. <laughs> it's time for me to defeat you! And we finally crown the world's next great superhero. I can now reveal that my next comic book legend is... This is Who Wants to Be a Superhero? So far, ten superheroes have been powered down. Ms. Dungaree. Mega Might Man. Dolphin Girl. Flying Feather. Nine Lives. Santh. Deflector. Princess Paul. Steel Soldier. Pink Puffle Girl. And left the lair for good. Now just three finalists remain. H2O Man, Gold Starlet and SGW. Over the past weeks, they have all faced their fears. Shown leadership. Right, we need to relax. We need to just take this logically. We should go out in twos. Not yet, not too far. And push themselves to the limit. Right. Are you right? I That's can good. do it. I can do it. Oh, no. Each one determined to prove they have what it takes to start in their very own comic book. But only the strongest superhero will survive. The prize is just, would be awesome, but getting to the final, that's just amazing. To win the ultimate superhero would be the biggest thing in my life, probably. Winning would be a fantastic thing. It'd just be the greatest feeling that you could ever have in the whole wide world. So, who will be crowned the world's next great superhero? It's the final morning, and the superheroes are getting ready to leave the lair. Hey. Hello. How you doing? Packing. Unfortunately. Is this the What is this? Oh, no. I got here, and this that's just what I want, really. I got here, and it's been fabulous. And if I don't win, I'm not going to cry. I might cry because I'm happy. But I won't cry because I'm sad and I didn't win. Because winning's not the point. Winning's just the icing on the cake. It feels really weird being in the lab because to know this is our last day and there's only three of us here. It's just get quiet and sad. I don't want to leave the lab. I'm going to miss my stuff all stamp up and up and going, Superheroes, it comes the time where we must power one of you down. And then, and then when he says, Dr. Dark is on the loose, and he says cool things, I just like Stan. I'm just going to miss everything. Good start, eh? Have you packed yet? <laughs> Are you bothered if you win or not? Um, not really, no. Because, no. I mean, if you win, well, you win. 
If you don't, you got really far and you did really well. Everybody to get into the lair has done well. And I'm not saying that because it's up because I've got here and I think I just leave it now. It's because I've got this far and if I don't win, I'm happy with the person who wins. I mean, whoever wins, they, well, obviously they're going to deserve it, aren't they? That, that'll be the reason why. Some of them might want to choose just somebody at random, would they? They just, yeah. they'd, they'd take everything in. They'd take everything in. Yeah. Winning for me is like, it's great. It's, it's, it would be amazing to win, and I would love to win. But um, just like getting this far is good enough for me. What, how, like, what, how do you feel? It's go is it going to be really different how they, this is our last day in the lair? Oh, it'd actually be quite upsetting because I don't want to die. It would just be amazing if I did win and I'd be just like, oh my God, ah! I think the things that I'm going to miss about the lair are when we have messages, <laughs> everyone's like, oh, yeah. everyone, absolutely, yeah. everyone just poops himself. Yeah, because it's great. they're usually just, just doing something really, just like sitting down reading or something. Oh, so, yeah. this, this massive and, this like, alarm yeah. goes off. Get down there now! Yeah, and then and then when the TV comes on, when Stan comes, everyone off, goes stand, 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 stand. stand, stand. stand, stand. <laughs> With the alarm sounding, the superheroes report to the control room for one of the last times. Hello, superheroes. Well, what can I say? You have all done incredibly well to get this far, and I'm sure you'll agree it's been a journey none of us will forget. But first, to begin this monumental day, I have a very important mission for you. You are about to learn the physical aspects of being a superhero. Because today, you're going to Action Hero School. What? what? Action Hero School? school. That is going to be fun. <laughs> As always, you need to report to Sam and Mark at the address on the screen. Superheroes, enjoy yourselves and Excelsior. Let's go! Yay. Come on, guys. Hello, superheroes. Ooh. How you doing? You alright? Welcome to Black Island Studios. Now, over the past few weeks, you've been demonstrating that you possess the true qualities of a great superhero. But today, we want to see what you're really made of. We want to see some serious superhero action. You up for that? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Right. Let's go inside. Okay, superheroes, we'd like to introduce you to Batman stuntman, Jeff Davis. Now, Jeff has worked as a stuntman for over 20 years and he's worked in movies such as Batman, Judge Dredd and James Bond. And he's going to teach you how to become a proper superhero. Now, we're going to leave you in his capable hands and remember, superheroes, we will be watching you. Good luck. See you, Jeff. Thank you. OK, guys, today you're going to learn to fly. They certainly are, and for this mission, the superheroes need to master the art of aerial acrobatics. Chest up. Look up. It's important. Important to keep your chest up, otherwise you start to tip forward. OK. OK. Now, you might be wondering what the green walls are all about. Well, that allows us to change the background at a later date, like this. The superheroes won't only be flying, they'll also be learning to somersault. So, what we'll do is move the weight forward. Acrobatics such as this requires balance, physical strength, and good concentration. So if you like this, arms forward, push. And it's not as easy as it looks. Push your feet up straight. Then come. As usual, we'll be judging the superhero's actions at all times. What was that? As the superheroes get ready to try out their action skills for the first time, nerves begin to show. 
Not at all. This one is really super strong. Front. Mind your arm. It's not on properly. Ready? You all right? Yeah. Can you move? Should I do it? Not too tight. Got to be tight. Mum, not me. But not too tight. Ooh. Okay. It's all right. Okay, I'll let me move my. Yeah, they're not 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 very comfortable to walking on the floor. But once you're up in the air. <laughs> Safety harness checked. SGW is up first. And three, two, one, go. Okay. Like we said, these moves aren't as easy as they look and require strength, balance, and concentration. Keep your chest up. And three, two, one, action. I particularly like the Superman because that was really good, good fun. Okay, so we're going to lift you up. So far, so good. Now, time for the somersault. Yeah. Ready? And go. <laughs> <laughs> My first flip. I did it well, but it made me feel a bit sick. <laughs> and I didn't like that one. But then after that, I think I enjoyed doing all the flips. Well, trying to do all the flips. Really? <laughs> all right, now you can feel what you're doing there. Yeah. yeah? Despite 10 attempts, SGW isn't able to pull off a full somersault. Next up, it's Gold Starlet. Right, now what you're going to do, you're just going to take two or three paces, you're going to jump up in here. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, go. Today I was like really confident and I did it without saying, oh, I don't know if I can do it, I just did it because I'm really like proud. Gold Starla has shown she can fly, but can she flip gracefully? Right. Whoa. Go. Okay, you've got to be a bit more active than that. You've got to really okay. push it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, all right. Quite fine. Uh, go. <laughs> wow, my legs! That's it. Okay. I thought that I was just not going to do it, if you know what I mean. I thought I was just going to, like, when I was doing a flip, I was going to stop, like, a quarter of the way. But I got round a few times, so it's okay. She manages a somersault with some help from the trainer. Good Starlet might not have been as good as she could have been. Because I, th I think I did all right. The final action hero student to step forward is H2O Man. One, go! Yeah, down. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! I love like running and then going along and then flying because it was so fun when you did that. Oh, yeah. Woo! Uh, go. H2O man manages a somersault unaided on his second go. a natural apparently but it was still really scary although apparently I was a natural so I think I did okay oh. and they can even do it backwards yeah. 
I think H two O man's been the best today. He was really good at like, doing the flips and stuff. I wasn't very good at it. it. Made me feel a bit sick, but still, you know, it was really. I think H two O man was really good at it. It's going to be really hard. Sam and Max choose the winner because it's like everybody's gone from like bottom to top. Like, nobody says, oh, I don't want to do it now. It's always, yep, I can do it. Perfect, bring it on. Oh, yes, superheroes looking great. There's some nice moves. <laughs> yeah, did you enjoy it, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? nice one. Well, uh, well done. Big thank you to Jeff. Cheers, nice mate, for that. Nice uh, now, though, it's time for you guys to go back to the lair. Off you go. Off you go. Okay. Nice one. Coming up, Dr. Dart makes a surprise return. Hello, Super Zeros. We uncover the superheroes' secret identities. I mean, I always act out with it, like, I'm the big guy, but... It just makes you feel better when you see somebody smile. Cos this has been the best experience of my life. And one superhero will finally claim comic book immortality. This is the toughest decision that we have ever had to make. Back at the lab, the superheroes are discussing their action school mission. That, that experience of doing that, that's just really topped off the yeah. superhero. I think, yeah. I think it was like, I think it was like, you know when we were doing the, when we were flying? Yeah. I think, you, you look like the Karate Kid. Oh. You, you look like Batman, and I look like Superman. Because your cape, when you were flying, your cape was like that. Really? Yeah, it was mint, just to watch. You see me, like, from passing rates and I will not do heights. I hate heights. I used to hate heights. But, like, like before, if I, if I went to that flying thing, I'd be like, put me down, I'm scared. Yeah. But this time, I was just like, whoa, yeah. You were like, you were really good at the flips. <laughs> Really they were really hard. hard. I was like, they were really hard. I was just trying to get myself over. I just couldn't do it because the harness was like. It was really hard to put on. The superhero experience changed me because yeah, I was determined before. Yeah, I was really determined before. But now I've just gone that one step further. My progress over the last couple of missions has increased because I, I used to be a bit, you know, on the kind of. I didn't used to be as good as a superhero as I think I am now. And I think that I'm, I'm really improving. And if I can improve that much and I can be a, a great superhero, I think I deserve to be the ultimate superhero. Guys, remember when we were in Dr. Dark's lair last and we saw him? Do you reckon we'll see him again? Yeah, we're going to defeat Dr. Dark no matter if we see him or not. We're going to defeat him somewhere. It has to end like yeah, that. Yeah, it has to end by us defeating yeah. him. Not like us defeating him him defeating yeah. us because that'd just be wrong and he's not going to because nobody is bigger and better than us, right? I'm nervous again about Dr. Dart because his evil ways just never stop. I mean, yeah, um, the, the um, henchmen have been defeated, but it's not like Dr. Dark's come to an end. I mean, Dr. Dark's still out there. Dr. Dark's still making his evil plans. We need to defeat him to make sure that he doesn't exist no more. Yeah. He's gone. Gone forever. Whoa. We better go investigate. Come on, let's go. On. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What's going on? Super Zeros, I see you found the antidote and turned my henchmen back into little innocent piggies, did you? I bet you thought you were being very clever, didn't you? Well, you're not! You may have been able to defeat my mutant giant spider, my stupid pig-faced henchmen, but you'll never defeat me. <laughs> and now... It's time for me to defeat you! Guys, it's using our powers and get him! I'll try first! I flap! <laughs> try again, Super Zero! Ha! Gold! Fuck! You couldn't hurt a fly with that supposed power! Bring it on! Keep your powers! Let's 
combine all our powers together to get that one. With their evil nemesis defeated, the superheroes return back down to the lair to celebrate. I expected it to be more smaller. Yeah. I didn't really expect it to be that tall, to be honest. I didn't actually, like, really think of him to be like that kind of person. Yeah, I'm so glad we defeated him now. He's out. Yeah. No He's more giant gone. spiders. Got him for I think it was a great idea to yeah. uh, combine our powers. Yeah. I did a power, he went, mm. I have puny little powers. Mm. Yeah. I, you know what I would have done? I would have jumped on his back and then turned my rocket boots on. If he had a dodge there, it'd be frozen. It'd oh. be gone. He went like this. So, not long now before we decide which of our superheroes has the heart and the soul of a true superhero and deserves to be crowned the world's next great superhero. Yes, there's a lot riding on this because they will be immortalised in their very own comic book created by Stan Lee, the mastermind behind some of the world's greatest superheroes. So, we have got a very big decision ahead of us. We spent weeks getting to know our superheroes, but right now, I think it's about time we got to know the person behind the costume. Now, these are their secret identity files it's time to open them up. I have enjoyed fighting <laughs> evil so much. So have I. The fighting the evil has been much more harder than I thought. Yeah, it was. I thought it would just be like bish, bush, bash. And then the no, down. Not like that. I yeah. thought it was just. No, gonna yeah, be... but like, as in, I thought it was just going to be. It's been really good. Though. Like what you see on movies. It's yeah. just a, basically I... bam. And then on and the floor. Then along the floor. But still, yeah. I, it's much harder if yeah. you think about it. Being a real superhero is hard yeah. work. Stand! Stand! <laughs> Hello, superheroes. As you know, Sam and Mark have a massive decision to make. You all possess the inner qualities that make up a superhero. Courage, integrity, honesty, and compassion. And all three of you are perfect candidates. That is what's going to make this decision so difficult. You are each going to have some time with Sam and Mark now so that they can get to the bottom of what your character is really about and what this journey and experience has meant to you. Sam and Mark are waiting in the control room. Please report to them one at a time. Who's going first? Okay, uh, don't mind. Who oh wants to go first? Okay then. See you guys. See you later. Good luck. At 13, H2O Man is the oldest of our three finalists. I want to be a superhero. He first auditioned in Manchester and stood out for his confidence and thoughtful superhero message. I've got a different attitude to superheroes. I think you've got to put a message across. I'm a superhero with a message. When do you drink? What do you drink? He went on to tackle most of the missions in a compassionate and considered way. Are you okay now? Very much okay. First things first, are you okay? I'm fine, thank you very much for asking. And he demonstrated courage and leadership. Mm. Were you not scared? I've got crutches. Yeah. <laughs> Should go out in twos? Yeah. So then, like, yeah. boy, girl, I boy, girl. A clock. A clock. A clock. A clock. But on occasions, H2O Man's overconfidence led to silly mistakes. As a result, you were left at the bottom of the class. Turning your paper over, and reading the answers was a blatant rule break. Hold the phone, please. So can H2O Man prove to us now that he's got what it takes to be crowned the next great superhero? I don't want to stand Go away! Yeah! Are oh, you, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the final. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, well Thank done, you. mate. Now, we feel 
that we've got to know H2O Man, the superhero, pretty well, but we've not really met Carl, the person behind the superhero. Now, don't worry, you're safe with us, you can discuss your real name and stuff. Yeah. We're not trying to get you out, right? So what is important to you in everyday life? Well, uh, my friends and family are probably the, the most important things to me because they're always there for me, even if, like, they fell out with me, they will we'll always make up, and that's what makes friends friends because, obviously, you're always going to have your ups and downs, but they're always there for me, and, like, my mum and dad, we always, like, have the odd argument now and then, but then we'll all make up, and it's really nice feeling when you make up with your mum and dad, and then it'll be a big hug. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Are you, are you all quite close with your yeah, friends and stuff definitely. like that? I'm really close to my friends. That's, That's good. Yeah. What would you say is the biggest thing that you've overcome in life? Um, the biggest thing I've overcome in life is probably myself. I mean, I've got like quite a big personality. Uh, I don't know if you know what I mean. <laughs> We know, I think, I think, hey, I think, we, I think we, we, we know you. Yeah. I've well got quite that. a big personality and sometimes I have to control that and I think I've learnt to control my personality and myself as a person. Okay. So what does being a true superhero mean to you? Um, well, being a true superhero to me is like so much more than a uh, pretty face. I know I always say like... <laughs> <laughs> and things like that. It's like so much more than that. I mean, I always act out that like, I'm the big guy, but... It's sometimes it's so much more than that. It's like what's inside, like a superhero can be to a policeman, to a fireman, they're heroes in themselves. So that's what a superhero means to me, really. Cool. So what's the biggest thing you've had to overcome since being a superhero? Um, probably the biggest thing I've had to overcome since I've been a superhero is Dr. Dark, obviously. Yeah. Dr. <laughs> Dark. Um, probably being a superhero. It's been like really hard and harder than I expected to be a superhero because, I mean, some of the missions that we've been faced with, I mean, believe it, they are really hard. Sometimes it got a bit stressful and then people, like, push their stress back and then push that to the side and that's what a superhero needs to do, really. So do you think you're going to act differently once you go back to your superhero identity? Um, I don't think I'm going to act any different. I'm always myself. What you see is me in everything, so I'm not going to act any differently. OK. That's good. OK, the big one. Why should you be the next great superhero? Well, I should be the next great superhero because all the way through this whole adventure, I've been, like, I've been, I've been different from what everybody else, everyone else has been the plain normal superhero and I've been absolutely, like, displayed courage, I've overcome things, I've got more determined and just the sheer, like, being here is just amazing and just being the ultimate superhero is just be... Whoa. <laughs> it's absolutely just phenomenal what we've been through and to describe what it'd feel like to win or become the next ultimate superhero, it just, it's unbelievable to describe. You can't describe it, it's that big. Thank you for letting me be in the final because even if I don't win, I think just getting this far, I mean, I know it'd be awesome to win, but just getting this far is just awesome, so... You don't have to thank us, no, mate. You've, you've, you've done it yourself, absolute, all three of you. Absolute pleasure. Carl, you may now return to the lair, and remember, your secret's safe with us. Yeah. Thank you. Pitch to us from now on, OK? <laughs> Gold Starlet is up next. At nine years old, she's the youngest of our three finalists. I'm Gold Star. Bam! She also first auditioned in Manchester, where her star quality stood out. Be 100% confident and determined to make everybody happy. My goal in life is to make the world a happier place. But she certainly didn't shine in the first mission. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did you fail to help the old lady and the tourist, but you did so with a smile on your face. However, she pushed herself to face her fears. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Well, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. Although she struggled with Dr. Dark's henchman. Oh, I'm just worried about the henchman. Can you your secret identity? But your decision not to retrieve your secret identity file yourself was a disappointing one. But she found inner strength and grew into a strong and courageous superhero. You certainly faced your fears with the henchman today. You demonstrated that you could take charge of a situation when needed. Right now. Right now. Yeah. No, not yet, not too far. 
So, will Gold Starlet be able to convince us that she has what it takes to claim comic book immortality? Yeah, we can do it! Hello. Hello. Take a seat. Congratulations on getting to the final. Yeah, well done. OK, so first of all, tell us, why is it so important for you to be a superhero? Well, it's important to me to be a superhero because what is the point of just sitting down all day watching the TV or going on your laptop when somebody could be out there when they're upset or they're hurt or something's wrong with them and you could be like helping them and saving someone's lives rather than watching TV. Fair enough. Good. Fair enough. Very good. So what is important to you in everyday life? My mum is important to me. Yeah? Because, like, if I'm upset, she'll take care of something. Or if I need taking somewhere, she'll take me there. <laughs> and even if it's somewhere far, she will make sure that I get there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like coming to London? Yes, yeah. like coming to London. So have you missed your mum? Yes. Yeah. 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 What would you say is the biggest thing you've overcome in life? Actually, and it's not that big, but it's big to me. Yeah. It was actually here. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because I was usually afraid of heights, and you know, like when you go to the fair, there's that big wheel. Yeah, yeah, it's really oh, yeah. Fast. yeah. I would never go on that. And like before, when we walked across the building, I was like really scared. Yeah. But like over the past weeks, I've overcome my fear. What does being a true superhero mean to you? Being a true superhero, well, it means a lot of things actually, because superhero doesn't just have to be somebody who does big things. It could be just something little, like saving somebody from falling down the stairs or something like that. That's not little. That's, that, that's pretty <laughs> big. That's pretty, that's pretty big. <laughs> no, but compared to the things that we've done, like saving the world and Dr. Dark and all that. Yeah, like, it's, that's true. Yeah, yeah it's pretty and big. Like, it doesn't matter if it's little or big. You've still got to like help them. And like being a superhero means like seeing somebody smile and it just makes you feel better when you see somebody smile. Completely agree yeah, with that. Yeah, definitely agree with that. Definitely. Would you say this experience has been harder than you thought it would be? Well, a bit yeah and a bit no. Okay. Because it's like, yeah, it was harder than I thought, but being a superhero is not easy. And, like, I, do, I don't mind it being hard because you, it's just saving someone's life or whatever that counts, really. OK, big question. Why should you be the next great superhero? Um. I think I should be the next ultimate superhero because, like, like I've said, I don't see a point just like sitting around when you could be doing something. You could be helping someone. Somebody could be like upset or hurt or something. Making people happy is just—it's just really nice to see a smile on somebody's face. And like, I—I I wouldn't make make people happy all the time because that'd be just not normal. Like seeing people walk around like this <laughs> would be a bit odd. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, just happy once a day, just like at least one of the time every day. And when I got in, I thought I'm gonna try my best and if I don't get far, at least I've tried my best. And to get here, it's just wow. And it's like a full kick. It's wow, kick's nice, it's good. And to win it, just with the icing on the top, it'd be fabulous. Wow, it'd be just be great. Well, nice. Ella, it's been a pleasure having you in the lair and it's good that you've exceeded all your expectations and stuff. And remember, your secret's safe with us. It is. Yeah. Give me some. Back to Gold Starlet now. Yeah. Gold Starlet, yeah. Bye. Gold Starlet, Gold Starlet. Bye. SGW is last up. Superhero! Age 12, he first auditioned in Glasgow, where his commitment to his superhero cause caught our attention. My, like, main mission in life is to educate. And what that stands for is stop global warming. His enthusiasm and determination paid off in most of the missions. This man that had paper sitting down. I just care about saving people and making them happy. But it also became his downfall in others. I dare you. I dare you. I live in Cockpit, which is really a gator. Revealing personal information and having a food fight and not the reactions of a true superhero. <laughs> However, he took on our feedback and became a more thoughtful and considered superhero. He's can do better than that. Hello. Hello! We need to relax. We need to just take this logically. Now SGW has a final chance to tell us why he should become the next great superhero. <laughs> Stop global warming and protect you. <laughs> Give me some. Respect. You know it. I know. <laughs> now, SGW, we've gotten to know you as a superhero pretty well, but 
we've not got to meet Michael, the person okay. behind the superhero. And don't worry, you know, you're not being tested or anything, so you can use your own name. Uh, we want to get to know you. Good. And first of all, why is it important for you, Michael, to be a superhero? Um, well, basically, I always used to love superheroes. I didn't really have a reason why I loved them. I just loved them because it okay. came flat fly anyway. And then as soon as I got to about the age of 10, I just started to really get a message because I loved superheroes still. And I really got this, this really important message into my head about global warming. If I was a really great superhero, if I was really well known, and I had this message and I could get this across to people, what I'm saying is I'm helping them to help themselves, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. completely. Yeah. It's, a good, it's a really good message. It is. So, Michael, what is important to you in everyday life? Um, well, basically, what's important to me in an everyday life is my family, because I'm very close to my family, and basically what makes my family so important to me is the fact that, like, they'll always, before I go to school, they'll always say, oh, go on, try your best at everything and stuff like that. So give you a lot of support. Yeah, yeah give me a lot of support. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say the biggest thing is that you've overcome in life? The biggest thing... <laughs> Well, one of them is definitely overcoming my fear of the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, yes, I was extremely scared of the dark. Okay. And, um, I just literally could not sleep. I would be up, sitting, like, <sighs> if, if there was complete darkness. But yeah. now that I'm over that fear, which is just in time, because, yeah. you know, Dr. Dark, it's yeah. great. But he does bring back some horrible memories. Mm. Would you say uh, that this experience has been harder than you thought it would be? Um, to be honest with you, yes. A lot, yeah. a lot different. I thought it would just be like, I didn't really think that we would be actually like properly fighting crime and stuff like that, fighting up the dark. And, but it's been, it's been better than I thought because I've been having more fun than I would have definitely imagined. Yeah. Why should you be the next great superhero? I think I should be the next great superhero because one, I'm not, a, I'm not an ordinary superhero. You got to admit. And two, like. I'm not one of those superheroes who likes the fame and the flashy fortune and stuff like that. I just, the, the kind of superhero I am are the fact that, you know when you just saved someone and the, the person comes out really happy and you saw them really distressed yeah. and it's just that feeling that you know that you've just completely saved someone's life and that's why I think, and I have an educational message. It's very true. Well, You're not wrong. Yeah, I really do think that is the thing, basically what I'm saying is everything I try to do and like, like when I save people, it all comes from the, definitely all comes from that heart. If you made me the next greatest superhero, I would literally be, I would, oof, I, it would be amazing. And I'd just like to say thank you to both of you for keeping me in this far and thank you for letting me in basically into the ultimate superhero because this has been the best experience of my life. Mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure, big dog. Oh, nice, that's nice. Oh, I didn't know the flip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we'll just oh, shake. Yeah. We're pretty cool. Uh, Michael, you can now go back up to the lair. I remember, your secret's safe with us. Yeah. Thank you. SGW from now on. SGW. SGW. Who's Michael? <laughs> Who's Michael? <laughs> Take it easy, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. That was intense and mm. revealing and has not made our job any easier. Not at all. All our three finalists have shown amazing courage and determination in their missions and they've all gone on their own unique journey where they've faced the fears and they've achieved things that they never thought possible. Now we are faced with our toughest decision yet, picking just one to become the world's next great superhero. Let's discuss. Okay, well, start from the beginning. Mm. <laughs> good interviews. Yeah, very good. Very I good. think I've uh, learnt a lot about them. Yeah. Coming up, some familiar faces return. I don't want one person to win, I want them all to win. I want all of us to win. There's a surprise for the finalists. Whoa! What? And we make the toughest decision of our lives. In just a moment, we will announce which one of you will become the world's next great superhero. for us to face the superheroes in the resolution room for the very last time. Are you ready? I certainly am. 
We need to give the world the one thing that it needs right now. What's that? The next great superhero? Of course! Okay. Let's do it. Superheroes, here we are. If I could ask you to join Sam and Mark in the resolution room one more time, the moment has come to reveal who my next comic book legend will be. It would just be amazing if I did win. I actually can't describe how much it would mean. It's so, it'd be so amazing. Not, not the fact that I go to Hollywood, not the fact that he makes a comic, the fact that I meet Stan Lee. I mean, who gets to meet Stan Lee? Not a lot of people. And Stan Lee's awesome, and it just, it means so much to me to win. I want to win as much as everybody else. I mean, winning. I mean, we've already got the cake, but the icing on top would just be winning. I mean, winning would be a fantastic thing. It'd just be a greatest feeling that you could ever have in the whole wide world. I would love to win. I would love to win so much. A comic book made for me would be amazing because, like, that means that is the kind of thing that I want to get because that means I can send across a message in a cool way. Hello, superheroes. Hi. Hi. Or should I say finalists? <laughs> In just a moment, we will announce which one of you will become the world's next great superhero. And star in their very own comic book created by Stan Lee. First of all, we'd like to congratulate you on defeating Dr. Dark. Yes. yes. I knew you'd get him eventually. Yes, that's one less supervillain on the streets of London. But back to the serious business of revealing who the world's next great superhero is going to be. H2O Man. You have been the most consistent superhero over the weeks and you've demonstrated strong leadership qualities. But your strength as a leader can sometimes overshadow the group. However, after listening to our feedback, you've learned that being a team player is just as important as being a leader. Well done. Gold Starlet. As the youngest superhero, you certainly have had the most to learn. At first, you held yourself back and struggled to face your fears. However, with the help of our feedback, You've grown into a strong and courageous superhero. Well done. SGW. Your heart has always been in the right place. But at the beginning, your other enthusiasm sometimes made you lose focus. However, by following our advice, you've learned to think before you act and you've become a more considered superhero. Well done. SGW, H2O Man, Gold Starlet. This is the toughest decision that we have ever had to make. You have all proven to be dynamic and determined superheroes. But, sadly, only one of you can be crowned the next great superhero. We will now hand over to Stan Lee to see who that superhero is. Superheroes, congratulations. In my eyes, you are all winners. You have been through so much to get here today, and I can't tell you how proud I am. And nice work defeating Dr. Dark. You've been on an amazing adventure over the past few weeks, and it's all come down to today. The fantastic journey has now come to an end. And so, after discussing it thoroughly with Sam and Mark, 
I can now reveal that my next comic book legend is... going to be announced at a much more glamorous location than this. Superheroes, your transport is waiting for you outside. I will see you very soon. Sorry, guys. But like Stan said, transport's waiting for you outside. Got a few surprises for you. Come on. Let's give it. Follow us. Our three superhero finalists make their last journey across London to meet us, knowing that there is nothing more that they can do and only one of them can be crowned the next great superhero. So, here we are at the venue where we're about to announce which of our three finalists will become the world's next great superhero. And there are a few familiar faces waiting for us. Are you ready? I'm ready and raring. Come on! <laughs> for a good chance, but my bet's probably in Gold Star Alert. H2O has got the potential to win because he's very energetic and he copes with anything. I don't want one person to win, I want them all to win. I want all of us to win. But I think the person who will win is SGW. Hello, everybody. It's wonderful to see all you superheroes back together again. Yay! And welcome to all the friends and family. Hiya. Hi. You all right? Shall we meet the finalists? Yeah! yeah. I'm Hayes Strowman, and I'm here to tell you how much water rules. Hey Strowman doesn't have weaknesses, he's invincible. H2O is here, there and everywhere. And here he is, it's H to Oma. I opened my eyes, I saw the superheroes, and then I saw my family on top of it. And it was just such a nice, like, surprise, really. I think H to O Man is a real good, um, strong superhero. And I think he's got a good chance of um, winning it. Our second finalist is Gold Starler. I'm Gold Starler. Bye, yeah. I'm going to make the world a happier place. You follow Gold Starler, you will go far. Just getting to the finals, it was it was just a really good feeling. Gold Starlet's definitely done it for the girls. Um, she told us before I got piled down that she was gonna keep going and fight for the girls. So I think she's done really well and just proven that girls can do as much just as well as boys. And last, but by no means least, it's SGW. I can fly with my biofuel rocket boots. Wherever global warming is, I'll be there. Stop global warming. Standing up there, with, it was nerve-wracking, but it was good because 
I knew that obviously one of us was going to win. SGW, he set up his own campaign. He's bought recycling boxes for the lair. So I would say he deserves to be the next superhero because everybody needs a chance to save the planet. And he could be a reminder. And the people that don't think about it, he could help them. Now, ladies, gentlemen, superheroes, and finalists. It's nearly time for us to complete our mission to find the world's next great superhero and comic book legend. But before we do, Stan Lee has got a few words. Welcome, superheroes. This is a bit more like it, wouldn't you agree? Well, I think you've heard enough from me over the past few weeks. So I'm going to hand over to Sam and Mark to reveal who will be crowned the next great superhero. Boys, over to you. Cheers, Stan. Thank you very much. H2O, man. You are here because you've proven to be a well-rounded superhero who consistently performs well. Not only have you shown physical courage and leadership, you've also demonstrated compassion of your fellow superheroes and modesty in your successes. Gold Starlet, you are the youngest superhero and the only girl to make it through to the final. You've certainly come a long way since you faced the first power down all those weeks ago. You've gone on a tremendous journey the commitment to the superhero cause, growing stronger with each mission. You've learned to push yourself physically and mentally, surprising even yourself at how much you have achieved. SGW, your commitment to good causes and the future of the world have never been in question. And although you started this journey with the heart of a superhero, you didn't quite have the head to match. <laughs> However, you have now discovered the ability to think before you act, making you more of an effective and controlled superhero. Standing before us are three heroes who've demonstrated that they've got the heart and soul of a true superhero. to all man gold staller and sgw the world needs a new superhero and i can now reveal that that hero is H2O, man. <laughs> Congratulations, H2O, man. Would you like to say a few words? Oh, well, everything, like, every time since I've been here, it's just been so fun, and everybody here, it, even though, like, you're not up here, you're still, like, part of everything, so just thank you. H2O, man, what does it mean to you now that you are the world's next great superhero? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so amazing. Fan W. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's the way. <laughs> well, well done, mate. Thanks. Got anything you'd like to say to SGW and Gold Starlet? Um, well, these two, you've like got just as far as me, really, because you two like you like the finalists as well, and like you're part of this. So, well done for getting this far. Thank you. Thank you. H2O, you will of course star in your very own comic book, created by Stan Lee. Stan actually has a message for you, so uh, let's see what he says. Heartiest congratulations, H2O man. You are my next great superhero. 
Wow, it really has been a roller coaster of a ride, but you are definitely a worthy winner. Now, I must start work on your comic book straight away. And of course, I look forward to meeting you in Hollywood very soon. One thing I do love is a happy ending. Excelsior! I wanted to be the company of the superhero, obviously, to everybody, but actually now I'm here, it's just so much better than I expected, and I, it's just unbelievable, really. I think H. Man definitely deserved it, because he's a great superhero, and I'm going to admit that I think he's better than us two. He's really good. I, like I think he's going to be a great superhero when he's meeting Stan and everyone. I've never actually been to Hollywood, so it's going to be so, like, special for me. I spoke to my mum and she said she was really proud of me and said my sister and had big hugs all around with them. I, I definitely think that he's a man um, deserves to be the ultimate superhero because he's done really well as well and I think that everybody's done really well. Even though I didn't win, I'm going to carry on my life as a superhero because I don't see the point of not like going through all this and then just stopping what you're doing. Even though it's over, I'm still going to carry on being a superhero and my mission statement is keep recycling to save the planet. Recycle to save the planet. My highlight in my time with the lair has probably been just spending time with everybody in the lair because they're just such nice superheroes and when you get to know them, they are really like nice people. HCOA, man is the best. Yay! The future holds more of H2O Man, definitely, and I'm going to keep saving the world. Our search for the next great superhero has come to an end, and I think we have found a very worthy hero who will look great on the front of a comic book. Definitely. Join us next week when we take H2O Man to Hollywood to continue his superhero adventure. That is not to be missed. We'll see, see you then. then. Next time. H2O Man joins us in Hollywood. <laughs> oh, that is wicked. <laughs> that actually is wicked. That is wicked. <laughs> He's amazing, isn't he? Of course he is. He's like, you know, a superhero. We find ourselves in a spot of bother. <laughs> Help! H2O Man! Superhero and Godfather are united for the first time. Well, it's about time. <laughs> you must be H2O Man. I've been expecting you. And H2O Man finally claims comic book immortality. It's been amazing. What else could a superhero want? Like they've never been beaten before. It's typical. You really want to see your favourite TV show, but the sun's shining, your mates are playing outside, and you'd love an ice cream. Well, now there's a way to enjoy the summer and still see all your favourite telly. Go to our website and click on CBBC iPlayer. You'll find all the CBBC shows from the last seven days right there on your computer. That way, you can watch the things you love when you want. CBBC iPlayer puts you in control. Watch yeah. out for the Ooglies! Ah. Are they in your home? Ooglies uh, uh, uh. starts Monday at 5.45. The CBBC Channel.